Hi there folks, John Nolan here with your PM Update, taking a look at just a few things we have planned for Saturday's E-Edition of the Times Leader. Wilkes-Barre City Council says it has been kept out of the loop on how pandemic relief money it approved for tourism was spent by Mayor George Brown. Jerry Lynott has those details. Federal prosecutors say a Freeland woman illegally submitted COVID-19 relief applications on behalf of individuals who did not qualify for relief. Ryan Evans reports on that case. And Ed Lewis has photos from the demolition of a long derelict property on Main Street in Ashley, which has finally been brought down after the efforts by borough officials. In Lifestyles, history columnist Tom Mooney finds the removal of New York City's last sidewalk payphone as an opportunity to reflect on the long lost technology of his youth. From typewriters and console radios to mimograph machines. Remember too that Blackout Bingo is currently underway. You can find your number inside today's paper and the paper each day. As always, folks, we thank you for reading. If you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com backslash subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.